I'm, I'm very happy uh, to, to visit Poland uh, again. Um, I thank you for Poland's commitment and contribution uh, over the 15 years um, since its accession uh, to NATO. Uh, and I'm here to discuss the important tasks ahead. Indeed, our consultations are very timely, um, as Russia's illegal and illegitimate aggression uh, against Ukraine is the greatest challenge to Europe, uh, to Europe's security in a generation. So, we have rightly reinforced the defense of our allies, including Poland. Right now, ships and aircraft from across uh, NATO are demonstrating our vigilance and resolve from the Baltic to the Black Sea. And we stand ready to take further steps um, with enhanced exercises, updated defense plans, and appropriate deployments. We have also reinforced our support to Ukraine, for example, by helping to strengthen its defense reforms and the protection of critical infrastructure. And we have sent an unmistakable message to Russia. Your behavior doesn't belong to the 21st century. And your rhetoric draws on outdated cliches of the Cold War. Russian officials claim that NATO should call on the Ukrainian armed forces to stop any operations in the east of their country because we urged the military to stay out of politics in February. To compare what happened in Kiev in February with what is happening today in Eastern Ukraine is totally misleading and coming from Russia, it is hypocritical. Public protests against any government are part of democracy. But violent pro-Russian separatists armed with heavy weapons who occupy public buildings and who take hostages are not part of any democracy. And if these groups swear open allegiance to Russia, whose troops are massed on Ukraine's borders and who has scrapped a piece of Ukraine, that is not democracy. That is a challenge to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Ukrainian state. And every state has the right and responsibility to protect its territory and its population. Russia has been escalating this crisis from the start. Russia should live up to its international commitments and obligations, stop supporting separatists, and pull back its troops from Ukraine's borders, so that a political solution can finally be found to this great crisis just next door from Poland. The elections on 25, uh, 25 May give the Ukrainian people a choice. That is democracy, and Russia should stop undermining these elections. NATO's greatest responsibility is to protect and defend our populations and territory. And let me be clear, NATO stands by Poland just as Poland stands by NATO. Thank you.